Hello everyone, welcome back to this topic is about the embryo culture. Uh, so what is an embryo? So we have discussed in the embryo sex structure that uh, this is the ovule and this part is the embryo sac and it contains the in the central cell there will be two polar nuclei and in the microfiler end there will be egg and signatures. So when the fertilization occurs and uh, the pollen tube enters through the microfiler end and it consists of two male gametes of two sperms. So one sperm will directly fuse with this egg and form the child cord. Okay. And uh, another uh, sperm that will uh, bind to this polar nuclei as it is doing in nature. So there will be the addition of one and so in total the endosperm nucleus will form that is the three nucleus. Because in the central cell already the two n polar nuclei is present on the sperm is one in condition. So two to three n endosperm will form. So this is chico that is two in condition and this the endosperm that is three in condition. Okay. So the embryo culture is the culturing of embryos which is excised from the ovaries at earliest stages of the development. So there are two types of embryo culture. First is the culture of the immature embryo and second is the culture of the mature embryo. Okay. Uh, so in case of uh, immature embryo in this type of embryo culture mainly used to grow the immature embryos originating from on ripe or hybrid seeds which fail to germinate. Uh, the chance of success in this type of culture depends largely on the development stage of the excised embryo. So in the immature embryo, the purpose of the culture is to grow that immature embryos which are originate from because of the on ripe condition or because it is a hybrid cell which fail to germinate. So in uh, the culture of the immature embryo, they will grow the immature embryos and produce a pebble. In second stage, the culture of mature embryo, the mature embryo are excised from the ripe cells and culture mainly to avoid inhibition in the cell or germination. Okay. So here comes one term that is precocious germination. So it is generally come in the immature embryo. So when the immature embryo is germinated without further embryo development, that is called the precocious germination. Then next comes is the embryo rescue. So uh, what it means? So embryo rescue is sometimes the hybrids of the immature or the weak embryos produced by the white crosses usually fail to develop and there is a chance of degeneration inside the ovaries of the mother plant. So in such cases the embryos can be rescued or the technique is called the embryo rescue and it grown in culture media so as to produce the viable progeny. It used to obtain progeny from intraspecific hybridization that do not normally produce the viable seed. Okay, so this is the uh, diagram of embryo rescue. So as you can see, this is the hybrid cell with the immature embryo. Okay, so this is the hybrid cell, embryo is immature. Then the immature hybrid embryo is pushed throughout. So this embryo is pushed out. Then here comes is the embryo normal cell with mature embryo. And this is the endosperm part. So the normal embryo is removed, making a cut, will make a cut, and the normal embryo is removed. Then there will be the hybrid embryo is allowed to grow in the normal endosperm. So in this case the hybrid, em hybrid embryo will produce the viable seed. Okay. So the process is first we will take the hybrid seed with immature embryo. So this one is the hybrid seed with the immature embryo. We need to cut the immature embryo. And in the other hand we need to take one normal seed with the mature embryo and we need to excise the same way the embryo the normal embryo is being removed then the immature hybrid is allowed to grow in that normal endosperm okay 
So in this way, it will produce the viable seed. So this is called the embryo rescue part because as because of this hybrid, it is immature and weak. Uh, it is when to develop it. Right? There will be no further development. So when it is rescued and grown in culture media with another environment, uh, it will it grow to the it grow and produce the viable seed. So the applications of the embryo cultures are that it used in the crop improvement program and in order to apply for the rapid clonal propagation and this technique has to overcome the problem associated with the embryo development and the problems are embryos are prevented from development different factors like incompatibility with the female tissue or the absence of the endosperm or the overcome and it overcome the embryo abortion due to the incompatibility periods so the, the next part is the center once you can overcome because of any which present in the endosperm make this the dormant. So such embryos can escape dormancy by culturing a suitable medium. So this is all about the embryo culture. So let me summarize this once again. Embryo culture is generally ready to uh, culture the in which you or you can say the mature embryo aesthetically and the sole purpose is to get a viable plant okay so as i said there are two types first is the immature embryo culture and the uh, mature embryo culture okay and the immature embryo is germinated precociously without further embryo development then comes the term embryo rescue that refers to the in vitro techniques and the sole purpose is to promote the development of the immature or the weak embryo into a viable plant. Depending on the organ culture, the embryo rescue may be referred to the embryo ovule or the ovary culture. So the most commonly used embryo rescue procedure is the embryo culture in which the embryos are sliced and placed directly into the culture medium. Embryos are difficult to exercise when they are very young or small seeded species. So to prevent the damage in embryos during the excision process, they are sometimes culture while it's still inside the ovary. And this technique is called the ovary culture. And uh, there is one ovary culture we have already discussed and the ovary is placed into the culture. So and the applications are it uh, overcome the embryo aversion. It overcomes the turbulency and the uh, embryo rescue in this time. The interspace we got the endogenic hybridation where the endosperm development is good. So, this is all about the embryo culture. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, share with your friends, and I hope it makes sense to you. Thank you.